Hello everyone and welcome back to Skyrim. We are here in Solitude. You know you can afford a septum or two. And uh, we're here to see General Tullius. So I suppose we should go do that. We need to see General Tullius, tell him about the uh, the council meeting. War meeting, I don't know what it's called, whatever. War council meeting, something like that. Where would we find him? Right here, perhaps? Where the the guards are? Castle Dower. Aha. This looks promising. I'm telling you, Ulfric's planning an attack on Whiterun. He'd be insane to try. He doesn't have the men. That's not what my scouts report, sir. Every day more join his cause. Riften, Dawnstar, and Winterhold support him. It's not a cause. It's a rebellion. Call it whatever you like, General. The man's going to try to take Whiterun. Jarl Balgruf. Balgruf refuses the Legion's right to garrison troops in his city. On the other hand, he also refuses to acknowledge Ulfric's claim. Well, if he wants to stand outside the protection of the Empire, fine. Let Ulfric pillage his city. General. You people and your damn Jarls. Sir, you can't force a Nord to accept help he hasn't asked for. If Ulfric's making a move for Whiterun, then we need to be there to stop him. Draft another letter with the usual platitudes, but this time share some of your intelligence regarding Ulfric's plans. Embellish if you have to. Hmm. We'll let it seem like it's his idea. Yes, sir. You Nords and your bloody sense of honor. Hey. Sir. Um, excuse me, General Tolius? Something to report? I <laughs> remember you. You were at Helgen. Yeah. Speak to Legged Ricka. Excuse me, my friend. We could use someone like you. No. You think I'm going to join your army after you <laughs> were going to execute? Sir. Would you stop pacing for a second? General, I need to talk Make to you. Make it quick. I get enough delays from politicians. Okay, hey. Speak with Legged Ricka. No. She will determine if you are Legion material. No. I'm not going to join your army. You tried to cut my head off. I have a message from the Greybeards. The Greybeards? What do those old hermits want with me? They're convening a peace council at High Hrothgar, and they, you know, you need to come. Why? There's nothing to discuss as long as that traitor Ulfric is in arms against his rightful emperor. Well, <laughs> we need a truce until the dragon menace is dealt with. For reasons. They are getting to be a problem. But I wasn't sent to Skyrim to fight dragons. My job is to quell this rebellion, and I intend to do just that. Dragons or no dragons. So, okay. The dragons are a bigger problem than the Stormcloaks right now, don't you think? The Stormcloaks aren't out there killing all the villagers. Uh, you may have a point. It's getting difficult to even move troops around without attracting a dragon attack. And that... By yeah. all accounts, the Stormcloaks are suffering just as badly. Oh, sure. Even Ulfric might see the sense of a truce under these conditions. He already agreed to it. Um, you'll come to the Peace Council, then? Yes. Yes, fine. I'll come to this Greybeard Council. For all the good it will do. Well, have that attitude, one out you? It'll get you everywhere. <clears throat> okay. Now we have to go back up to High Rothgar and tell Arngear that we get everybody on board. But while we're here... Oh, it looks like they were shooting their friend. She was. While we're here, though, Inigo... I've got a little work if you're interested, traveler. Um, let's sell stuff. The blacksmith seems to have gone missing. Oh, there he is. He was behind the post. Yeah, I want to sell some stuff. Actually, you know what? It's all on Deacon. Let's sell some stuff before we head off again. Because we won't get another chance to sell stuff at, um... 
in solitude again in a while. Hmm. Okay. Lunch. Lunch taken care of. And I need to refill the water buckets. Water skins, I mean. Fresh fish. Fresh and and now, um, yeah, we have to go back up to High Frothgar. In you go. <sighs> That's not something I'm looking forward to doing. Okay, so let's see. What would be the quickest way? Hmm. We could come by, um,. We could go home on the way over there. It's a little bit out of the way, I'm thinking. Probably the fastest way would be to like go up through this pass here and go across and then up this way. I don't know. It might not be any slower to go this way. Well, yeah. I don't know. I want to go home and see if Lydia's done any more work. Just because. Just because I do. I want to go home and see. So, why don't we do that? So. You look like an adventurous one. I, know. I bet we're kindred spirits, you know. I bet we're not. So. Um. Uh, what was I gonna say? Yeah, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna head on home. And judging by how what time of day it is, we probably are gonna need to uh, spend the night there as well. Which is fine with me, beat sleeping in an inn any day. This guard is taking a horse someplace. Okay. Yeah, anyway. Um. And then we gotta go up and talk to Arn Gear and then what? Wait for everybody to arrive? <sighs> we should pick up a job or something. What do you think? Like a bounty. It's been a while since we did a bounty or anything like that. Tolius? Sure is. Wonder where he's going. Oh! <laughs> he's probably going to the Greybeards. Right. Well, good to know that he took it seriously and that he's uh, on his way. I bet I'll beat him. <laughs> Even. <laughs> Even if we stop at home. Well, I don't know. How much you want to bet? He's going to beat me there anyways. Even though he's walking the whole way. Wow. You can't deny that view though. Isn't that gorgeous? Wow. Really nice time of day. I do hope we can get home before dark, though. Run, Deacon. Mm. Oh, I'm actually tired, though. It would probably be a good idea to take a little rest. Is that guy selling another cow? I think so. We have to go all the way back up there again. Let me tell you, I will be glad when all of this mess is over with. Wait a minute. Did we pass the turn? Oh my gosh, we sure did. No, we didn't. Oh, good. <laughs> We're not there yet. Good. Oh, that was close. I hate backtracking. What? Somebody's shooting arrows at me. Ah! 
bandits. Protect your oh, don't you shoot my horse. Whoops. Sorry, Deacon. Look at this guy. He's just like some random traveler guy. He's not like even... He wasn't even a... You, you got her out of why do I keep doing that? Damn you! You could. I'm doing that with my dog. What? Now there's another one. There were just like two of them, and now there's like four. Ow! Dude. I'll tell you what a real. This a real orc can die with a sword up his neck. Where did they all come from? <laughs> Inigo, look out! Sorry, hey! Okay, you were kind of like squeezing in and getting in my way there. Orcish bow. Fine, I'll take it. Fine, I'll take it. Okay, well, that's fine. Where are they? Yeah. Um. Where are all of Was there the other one? Where's the other one? Didn't he die in here as well? Oh, I don't know. It's like they're just. A bunch of random guys of all different sorts. I mean, look at this. Oh, he was a farmer. Why was he attacking me? He was attacking me, wasn't he? Oh, man. Was he just coming, like, to try to fight these guys, too? Or, or, I don't know. Was he actually attacking me? He was running up to me with a sword drawn. I assumed he was one of the bandits. Well, what other reason would there be to run up to somebody with a sword other than to kill them? Right? I mean it this time, Deacon. Please come here. Oh, what is this? There was another one still. So. You guys need help? Skyrim? <laughs> I suppose I should have helped. What's that? Whoa! Okay, a little bit of overkill there, don't you think? Hi. Um, sorry I didn't help with your friend and all, but... Okay. Uh. Mm. Why was that one so expensive? Huh. Usually, uh, backpacks don't, don't cost so much. You just gonna leave your buddy here? Okay. Wheel then. Whoa. Careful. Alright, well, we did it. We uh, killed more bandits. Yay for us. Now, next stop home, right? No more bandits or anything like that, please? Thank you very much. Oh. Well, isn't this wonderful? It's raining. Wait a minute. It's only raining in that direction. It's raining right on top of us, but not ahead of us. Maybe we can keep ahead of it and not get wet. That's weird. Here you go. It's like it's following us! Oh no, I'm damp. Uh oh. Somebody's... What's, what's going on here? Who's, who's killing who here? Okay, it's a guard, killing, t and skeletons. Okay. 
bandit. Just kill him. Oh, Deacon, I'm sorry. I don't want to hit these guys here. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, they're both bandits. Whose horse is this? There's an arrow to be there. What's going on? Okay, so this is the. This is also a bandit. I understand that. That's how you do it, man. Just grab them and spear them. He's going to observe our handiwork. Look at all these arrows. Oh dear. There's no way I'm carrying that around. Wow. Quite the thing. Is that your horse? What? What'd you say? Were you saying something about Greybeard? Sorry, I interrupted you. Call the Peace Council at High Rothgar. I know. Can you believe it? Yes. Both Ulfric Stormcloak and General Tullius have agreed to go. News sure travels fast. Um, is it creepy to anybody else that the rain is following me like this? Mmm. Yeah. Very creepy. Okay. Rain releases all the best smells. Well, that is true, actually. So, I want my torch. I mean, my torch. My lantern. Because I have one now. I mean, I have oil for it. So, yay! I can see where I'm going now in the dark. I'm so happy. <laughs> oh, look. It finally got ahead of me. <sighs> Good. I was starting to think the world had gone insane. Okie dokie, we are home. Home sweet home. <sighs> this sure is a nice little quiet drizzle of a rain, isn't it? It's like barely, barely raining. And over there it's not raining at all, so cool. Woo, that's bright. All right, Lydia, have you done any more work in here? Long life to you, Thane. Oh, you got a shield rack on a board. And another one over here. Okay, well, Lydia, I would have preferred like a lot more of them. <laughs> like that feels like it takes up too much space like you could have put two on there or or just like lined them up on the wall even. right oh well <sighs> what does she know about designing an armory anyways I mean she apparently nothing she hasn't even moved these yet oh well I shouldn't complain she's done really good with everything else so far yeah oh anyways <sighs> Oh, I'm tired. There you go. I think I'm gonna hit the hay and then tomorrow Yeah, we gotta go back up to high Rothgar again. I swear this uh this glow bug is trying to escape. Right? Maybe he's really a human in bug form. I guess you never know. Good night, you guys. All right. I think I'm going to have breakfast. You could sit down, Ego, and join me if you want to. You know, let's see if uh, Lydia has. Um, any other... Where'd she go, anyway? She was just in here. Did she go outside? Lydia? 
Ugh, it's kind of a dull gray morning, isn't it? Lydia? Ooh, you know what we need to do? We need to get stuff for this balcony. Yes, we do. Okay, I could have sworn she came outside. Lydia? Weird. Lydia? Um... Lydia? Where'd she go? Okay. She wasn't outside. She's not in here. Lydia? Oh, there you are. Did, oh, she just got up. Um, hi. What do you... Honored to see you again, my friend. Um... What other improvements can you make on the house? Certainly. What did you have in mind? I don't know. We can get a carriage, a bard, a horse. I don't need another horse. More chickens. Hmm. A bard. Like somebody who will just sing. Who will live here and s I don't have enough beds for another person. Never mind. That's all right, mind. then. That's all. Okay, well, I, I was just curious if she could do anything else, but she's busy right now, so, you know, doing the, the armory. Alright. Oh. Just the basement we have to do something. I, I don't want to do that right now, though. We should get up to High Hrothgar. Oh. Yeah, well. So much for the nice morning. Well, it wasn't a nice morning, was it? Uh, it was actually a dull gray morning, and now it's a dull gray rainy morning. I, su I suppose I should put on my, my cloak, even though the fur isn't good for the for the rain. I don't have a better one at the moment, so what can you do? Hey! Stretches before us. Let us not waste hey. the time. Hey! Hey! How did you guys find out about this meeting? We must make them see the danger, Grattenberg. Uh, we should get started. Alduin is only getting stronger. How did you know about this meeting? I did not tell you about this meeting. Why are you guys here? This is not going to be good. Oh, bother. How did they find out? Do they have spies? Are they following me? Mm. Oh. Hi. I did not invite them. Believe me. I did not. So, Arn Gear, is it? You know why we're here. Are you going to let us in or not? You were not invited here. Yeah, no, they weren't. You are not welcome here. We have as much right to be at this council as all of you. More, actually, since we were the ones that put the Dragonborn on this path. Were you? Huh. Hubris of the Blades truly knows no bounds. If it were up to you, the Dragonborn would sit dreaming on this mountain doing nothing. No. Delphine, we're not here to rehearse old grudges. <laughs> no, I would not the be. The matter at hand is urgent. Alduin must be stopped. You wouldn't have called this council if you didn't agree. We know a great deal about the situation and the threat that Alduin poses to us all. You need us here if you want this council to succeed. Oh, do we? Uh, very well. You may enter. So, you've done it. Ah, uh, yes. Men of violence are gathered here. Oh, they made in it? these halls whose very stones are dedicated to peace. Uh, I should not have agreed to host this council. Uh. The Greybeards have no business involving ourselves in such matters. No, no, no. It's, it's, not, it's not about you, man. We're just meeting here. You don't have to say anything at all. We'll do the whole, the whole thing, right? Um... 
I'll get them to agree that this is the only way to get Balgor's help. It, it really was. <laughs> yes, yes. Which is why I allowed this violation of all our traditions. Sorry. But regrets are pointless. Here we are. Take your seat at the council table. Oh. And let us see what wisdom we can find among these warriors of Skyrim. Take your seat and we can begin. Okay. All right, Inigo. Here we go. I'm not really the diplomatic type, but I guess... We all wait upon you, Dragonborn. You know what? I'm right behind you, man. <laughs> oh, no. oh, what is she doing here? Why delay? Please, take your seat so what that we can begin. What are you doing here? And so we meet again. Huh. But this time I know who and what you really are. Take your seat yeah. and we can begin. I am looking at her and talk. Hi. Hi. Where, where do I sit? Which which chair? We all wait upon you, Dragonborn. I'm, I'm, which, where should I sit? Right here? Okay. Now that everyone is here, please take your seats so we can begin. Did you I hear? Hope that we have all come no. here in the spirit you of... insult us by bringing her to this negotiation? Yeah, really. Your chief Talos Hunter? <laughs> that didn't take long. Here, here. I have every right to be at this negotiation. Oh? I need to ensure that nothing is agreed to here that violates the terms of the White Gold Concordat. She's part of the Imperial delegation. You can't dictate who I bring to this council. Please. I didn't invite if her. If we have to negotiate the terms of the negotiation, we will never get anywhere. True. Perhaps this would be a good time to get the Dragonborn's input oh, on this matter. Me... By Izmir's beard. The nerve of those Imperial bastards, eh? Yeah, I know. I think that I would sit down at the same table with that. Thou more bitch. Either she walks or I... No, 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 Ulfric. No, no, no. They have no business here. But we won't get anywhere if we refuse to meet just because she's here. You're right, the Thalmor have no business here, but... What's the harm of her being here, I guess? I mean, Tolius would just tell her everything later anyways if she wasn't here. It's not like we're going to keep secrets from her. And I guess he doesn't really want her here either, hmm? Maybe so, but bringing her here is a deliberate provocation. Yeah. Tolius needs to know I won't be pushed around. Okay, I agree. So... <clears throat> this will set the tone for the whole negotiation. Ellen Wynn should go. Should she? Hmm. I don't really want her here. I hate her. Like, I would love, love to kill her. I would. Yeah. Well said. Very well, Ulfric. Enjoy your petty victory. The Thalmor will treat with whatever government rules Skyrim. We would not think of interfering in your civil war. Oh, really? Ah, Skyrim will never bow to the Thalmor. Unlike your Imperial friends here. You're lucky I respect the Greybeard's council, Oh, Thalmor. sit down. Legate, we represent the Emperor here. Yeah. Sorry, sir. It won't happen again. Now that that's settled, let's... may we proceed? Yes, let's get on I with it. I have something to say first. Ah, uh, what? Here we go. The only reason I agreed to attend this council was to deal with the dragon menace. There's nothing else to talk about. Right. Unless the Empire is finally ready to renounce its unjust claim to rule over the free people of Skyrim. I knew he wouldn't We're be able to resist. To a temporary truce to allow the dragonborn here to deal with the dragons, nothing more. Yes. I consider even talking to the Empire a generous gesture. Are you done? Did you just come here to make speeches, or can we get down to business? Yes, let's get this over with. Are we ready to proceed? Mm-hmm. Jarl Ulfric, General Tullius, this council is unprecedented. We are gathered here at the Dragonborn's request. I ask that you all respect the spirit of High Hrothgar, and do your best to begin the process of achieving a lasting peace in Skyrim. 
Who would like to open the negotiations? Not me. Yes, let's get down to it. We want control of Markar. Oh. That's our price for agreeing to a truce. So that's why you're here, Ulfric? You dare to insult the Greybeards by using this council to advance your own position? Well, why General not? General Elisif. General, this is outrageous. You can't be taking this demand seriously. I thought we were here to discuss a truce. Elisif. That's I what truces I'd are about. Ulfric, you can't seriously expect us to give up Markarth at the negotiating table. You hope to gain in council what you've been unable to take in battle, is that it? Well, I'm sure Jarl Ulfric does not expect something for nothing. Yes, that'd be entirely out of character. I want in return. Wait, General, you don't intend to just hand over Markarth to that traitor? This is how the Empire repays us for our loyalty? <sighs> Enough. Oh my gosh. First, let's be clear. This council wasn't my idea. I think it's a waste of time. You are a traitor to the Empire, and deserve a traitor's death. <laughs> but I at least will negotiate in good faith. Since we're all here at your request, I'd like to hear what you think Markarth is worth. Oh, me? <sighs> Dawnstar? <laughs> or Riften? Dawnstar or Riften. Hmm. <sighs> How about Riften? Yeah. How about Riften? Hmm? Hmm. The Rift would help secure our communications with Cyrodiil and threaten Ulfric's southern flank. Well, I know. The Dragonborn has spoken, Talius. Markarth will be ours. Now we'll see if there's anything behind your talk of good faith. You disappoint me, Dragonborn. What? I accepted your invitation on trust in your good name. But it seems you intend to favor Ulfric. What? I can see now that this is not a negotiation at all. Just I know you, Ulfric. If I hand over Markarth, you'll be ready with a new demand. You'll never defeat the Empire, and you know it. But you're willing to sacrifice thousands for your own selfish ambition. Soon enough, I'll have you back under the Headsman's Axe, and this time there won't be any dragon to save you. As always, <coughs> the Empire's fine words are worth nothing. Stop! Are you so blind to our danger that you can't see past your pity disagreements? Here you sit arguing about nothing. While the fate of the land hangs in the balance. Is he yeah. with you, Delphine? If so, I advise you to tell him to watch his tongue. You know Delphine? He is with me. And I advise you both to listen to what he has to say before you do anything rash. Don't you understand the danger? Don't you understand what the return of the dragons means? Alduin has returned. The world eater. Even now he devours the souls of your fallen comrades. He grows more powerful with every soldier slain in your pointless war. Can you not put aside your hatred for even one moment yeah. in the face of this mortal danger? Yes. Yes, we can. We can, right? Everybody? I don't know about the end of the world, but this dragon situation has gotten out of hand. If this truce will help the dragonborn here put an end to that menace, we both gain. Remember that, Ulfric. Now, back to the matter at hand. You know as well as I do that we can't hand over Markarth on these terms. Shores, bones, where will these demands end? <laughs> I'm listening. We want compensation for the massacre at Carthwaston. You that? slaughtered the very people you claim to be fighting for. True sons of Skyrim would never do such things. Damned Imperial lies. My men would never stoop to such methods, even in retaliation <laughs> for your butchery at... Yes. All the blood spilled in this war is on your head. So, Dragon Man, <clears throat> what do you say? I'm hungry and thirsty. <sighs> I'm not sure what happened at Carthwaston. That was before I arrived in Skyrim, I think. Um, what? To, who, who's to say what happened at Carthwaston anyway? 
I should have known better than to expect you to give us a fair I'm hearing. I'm just asking. Once again, the Empire takes the blame for the crimes of others. No, I'm not. You know I can't agree to these terms. The Emperor would repudiate this treaty and I would be recalled. You see what talking to them gets us? I'm listening. We want an Imperial candidate as Jarl of Winterhold. What next, Talius? Oh, come on. Shall I just hand over all of Skyrim? I guess I have no choice but to let the dragon board decide. What? You guys. Oh, I'm starting to doubt your fairness. <sighs> okay. So, Dragonborn. What? What do you say? <sighs> so, f okay. Ulfric just wanted Markarth. And then you wanted Riften. So I said, sure, have Riften. And then... He wants... You guys just keep wanting things. Can't you just call it even already? <sighs> Doesn't seem like Ulfric should have to give up any more territory. You both gave up something. Can't we just call it even? <sighs> huh? Because we could play this game for hours until everybody owns everybody else's stuff. Right? <laughs> Ulfric doesn't need to give up any more territory. Let's just get on with the thing. As I expected, you favor your friend. <sighs> Don't hand me a mug of sheep's piss and call it Colovian brandy. These terms are still not acceptable. Damn imperial arrogance. Why are they not acceptable? You trade I'll a town for a best. town. Never mind. I can see that these are the best terms we'll get from this council. So be it. The Thank Empire you. at least puts the greater good above our own interests. It seems we may have an agreement. Oh my gosh. Jarl Ulfric, General Tullius. These are the terms currently on the table. Markarth will be handed over to Ulfric's forces. Jarl Edmund will step down, and Thangvor Silverblood will become the Jarl of Markarth. The Stormcloaks will withdraw from the rift, allowing Imperial troops unhindered access. Jarl Leila Lawgiver will step down, and Maven Blackbriar will become the Jarl of Rivera. Really? Does she want? Well, of course she does. Yes. You both agree to this? Yes, we agree. The sons of Skyrim will live up to their agreements, as long as the Imperials hold to theirs. What about you, Alyssa? Are these terms to your liking? Speak up! I'm sure General Tullius is waiting to do your bidding. <laughs> I have nothing to say to that murderer. General, you've proven yourself a good friend to Skyrim. I continue to trust that you will do your utmost to safeguard our interests. Thank you, Jarl Ellison. I appreciate your loyalty. These terms blatantly favor the rebels. In Everyone here knows that. But the Empire will accept them until the dragon menace is dealt. Because Markarth's a bigger city? After that, Ulfric, there Maybe. will be a reckoning. Count on it. Come on, Delmar. We have a lot of work to do. Giving up Markarth is, is a heavy price for this truce, Dragonborn. I hope it was worth it. Jarl oh, Valgruf. Am I done? Okay. I assume you are familiar with the Dragonborn's plan? Yes. I'm ready to do my part. Just say the word, and my men will help you spring this trap. But the okay. difficulty remains how to lure a dragon. To dragons reach at all right well that's an excellent question you haven't overlooked that little detail i've you? been thinking about ah, it i believe i can be of help here oh i anticipated the problem while you were arranging this meeting i was busy in the library of skyhaven Temp, an you... unguessed trove of lost lore but the important thing is that the blades recorded many of the names of dragons they slew yeah cross-reference this with Delphine's map of dragon burial sites. I believe I've identified one of the dragons that Alduin has raised up. Oh? So how does that help us exactly? Uh, don't you see? No? The names of dragons are always three words of power. Shouts. By oh. calling the dragon with a voice, he will hear you wherever he might be. Oh. So, yeah, but why would he come when I call him? He's not compelled to, but dragons are prideful by nature and loath to refuse a challenge. Mm. Your voice in particular is likely to intrigue this dragon. 
after your victory over Aldrin. I think it's very likely that he will be unable to resist investigating your call. Okay. So what is the dragon's name then? Ah, indeed. I'm no master of voice like these worthy gentlemen. But it is written here in the scroll. Ord Arvin, winged snow hunter, as I read it. Okay. I hope this truce gives you what oh. you need. It won't last. It won't, huh? Are you going to renege on your deal? Hmm? There's one more thing. What? We know about Parthenax. Oh. You know what about him? Parthenax. The dragon that the Greybeards have been protecting for all these years. Yeah? He needs to die. What? He deserves to die. And it falls to you to kill him. Until he's what? dead. Well, I'm sorry, but we would dishonor our oaths as blades if we continued to help you. <laughs> what? Kill Parthenax? You gotta be kidding me. He's helping me, and if it weren't for him, we wouldn't be doing any of this right now, Delphine. He's the one who suggested all this stuff. About Parthenax. Make your choice, Dragonborn. You're either with us or against us. Why? Why does he need to die? Here's the big picture. He helped Alduin enslave our ancestors. He may have betrayed Alduin in the end, but that makes him worse, not better. We can't afford to give Parthenax the opportunity to betray us in turn. <sighs> And return to his old master. <clears throat> yeah, no. I'm not doing that, Delphine. So, I just, I can't actually tell her that I'm not going to do it. So. Bye. I'm not killing Parthenax, Delphine. He helped us. He's on our side. He continues to help us over and over. Um, you're not on here. So everybody just left, so... Okay. Um, how do we get out of here? Arn here. Um, do you have anything to say? I fear this truce will not last. Yeah. General Tullius will be looking for any opportunity to regain the advantage. Sounds like it. The Blades want me to kill Parthenax. Now you see why I've warned you against them, bloodthirsty barbarians. Yeah, okay. What, is it true what they said? He was Alduin's ally? Yes, but understand, during the days of Alduin's rule, all dragons were his allies. Well, that makes sense. There was nothing else they could be. If not for Parthenax, Alduin could not have been overthrown. It was he that first taught men to use the Thum. Oh. Okay, no, don't worry, I'm not going to kill him. Kinnerith has placed the voice of wisdom within you, Dragonborn. All you need do is learn to listen to it, and your path will be clear. Yeah, no, I'm not, don't worry, I'm not going to kill him, okay? Breath and focus. Yeah. <sighs> okay. Alright, so yeah, Tolius was upset that we gave... The Stormcloaks Markarth. I guess Markarth is a better city than. It's a bigger city than. Um, Riften, right? But the other option was to give them a Winterhold. A Winterhold is smaller than Riften. I. I gave them the one I thought would be the best um, tr in trade. I don't know. It's not like there's other cities to choose from. Markarth is like the second biggest city in Skyrim, and the Imperials already control the biggest one. I don't know what to... Uh... <sighs> they just... I don't know. Looks like they were just never happy with anything. But yeah, it feels like the Empire is probably gonna uh, go back on their word about the truce. Probably not going to last very long, Indigo. But hopefully it lasts long enough to get this dragon business taken care of. <clears throat> it's afternoon. I'm hungry and thirsty. I'm going to get something to eat and drink. Let's see. What should we have? Vegetable soup. 
and um, bread. And some water. Okay, <clears throat> it's cold in here. My goodness. So, let's head out. Oh, wait, what do we have to do now? Um, no, we're not gonna kill Barthanax. Prepare trap for Odeving. So we have to go to Dragon's Reach and call this Odeving. So I guess I, I learned, uh, oops. I learned the uh, shout, call dragon. Okay. Well, that's kind of cool. <sighs> We're actually going to do this. We're actually going to call a dragon. And if it comes to the call, then what? Hopefully we can talk to it and not just kill it. 